I've definitely made them into dogs, as most of my friends say. They get zoomies, they groom each other, and they're very food orientated. Get out of my wheat bix. Help. Help. Well, sometimes I'll stir them up. And you gotta jump out of the way because they're so big now. But the first night we brought them home, they actually were very cautious of us. I'm a vet nurse and shockingly I've not had any animals. I got the boys through an organisation called Till the Cows Come Home. The boys are actually a byproduct of the dairy industry. So if we don't take them on and rehome them, they become veal, dog meat, or just buried. So I thought I'd have to purchase the cows from an auction. I didn't know much about them and they didn't know much about me. So having them as calves, I was able to raise them to be very domesticated. Is that nice? <laughs> so we actually grew together. And it was just nice to see their personalities come about. Chuck is a mama's boy. He's very food driven. If I call out to them, he's the first one to turn and lock eyes with me. Porter is what I describe as a naughty teenager. He's very much like, okay, cool, you don't have any food for me, I'm gonna go now. Don't eat my toast. No, that's my toast. But he's very independent. And then Wellington is the sweetest boy. Ah! No, Willy Moo! Mwah. Sometimes the boys pick on him a little bit too much but he's still very caring to the other two. So every morning, it gives me a purpose to get up early. Ow. And the first thing I do is call my partner I'm on my way home and I'm like, how are the boys? Mm -hmm. Everyone in our street knows that they are my babies. We absolutely love them. <laughs> 